time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. All right, y'all. Yesterday in my life, we were talking about just different stuff. You know, I always get in our conversations. Well, it came up. This is about the like the water became poisoned and and what is it called the Samant Samadra Mantha or the tale of the churning milky ocean. So I was like, what is this about? I needed to know more. Well, of course, my people came through. T just sent me this little uh, video to watch and react to. And I couldn't wait any longer. I was like, right away. I was like, well, I'm doing this one next. I got to react to this. I got to check it out. So y'all ready to watch this with me? Let's, I, I mean, if y'all probably already know. Some of y'all might already know about this. If you're not, let's learn it together. Y'all ready? Let's go. It's called Samudra. Samudra Mantha. The Hunt for Elixir by Devdas. Samudra Mantan. Devdas? Oh, also known as go. Sagar Mantan, Amrita Mantan, Kshir Sagar Mantan, is one of the most significant episodes See? that led to the birth of divine goddesses, angels, and also many precious valuables. This remarkable event of the churning of the Milky Ocean finds its mention in the Bhagavad Purana, they were really Vishnu trendy. Purana, and Mahabharata. The, the literal translation of the words Samudra Mantan means churning of the sea. That's what it means, churning the of word the sea. Samudra oh. means ocean and Manthan means churning. The story of Samudra Manthan. Lord Indra is highly revered in the Vedas as oh, the king of heavens, thunder, know. storms, river flows, lightning, rains and war. Once Lord Indra was riding on his elephant, Airavata, and came across Sage Durvasa. Okay, the sage Durvasa offered the king an auspicious garland which was given to him by a nymph. Lord Indra accepted the garland like gar and placed like it on the trunk of his elephant, Airavata. Oh, okay. The elephant it. threw the garland on the ground. On witnessing this, Sage Durvasa was angered as the garland was not an ordinary one. Outraged with this act, Sage Durvasa cursed Lord Indra and all the other gods because that they elephant. would lose all their parts and would be barefoot of all their energies, fortunes and strength. What? Post this incident, the Devas lost all their parts and started losing all the battles to the Asuras. That's the, Asura that's the elephant's won fault. all the battles against Devas and the soon gained control the over the entire universe. This created a tense situation amongst the gods and yeah. thus all devas yeah, like... went to Lord Vishnu to resolve this Vishnu. issue. Lord Vishnu advised the devas that the elixir that resided at the bottom of the Kshi Sagar, also known as the Milky Ocean, okay. can restore well, back that's, all their that's strength why and power. It. That's why but it. it was impossible for the gods to churn such a vast ocean alone. Mm. Hence, Devas formed an alliance of sharing the nectar of immortality with the Asuras as well to convince them oh. to churn the milky ocean. They Churning the ocean of milk was an elaborate and tedious task. In order to churn the ocean, Mount Mandar was used as a churning rod and the snake god Vasuki was used as the churning rope. I how the Asuras took. demanded to hold the head of the snake, while the Devas agreed to hold the snake's tail. Okay. Mount well, Mandar to began to sink when it was placed in the ocean. After learning this, Lord Vishnu took the form of Kurma, turtle, and took Mount Mandara on his back to offer support to I the mountain, and so that the churning event could process with ease. The fumes that were emitted by the snake god Vasuki poisoned the Asuras, but despite of this, the Asuras and Devas pulled the snake back and forth, causing oh, the mountain to rotate. That's how it got poisoned from the turn, snake. Which in turn churned the ocean. During the churning, many things came out of that ocean. 
14 ratnas emerged from the ocean that were divided amongst the devas and the asuras what some of these things comprised of the wish granting cow named kamadenu which was given to the sages by lord vishnu a seven headed horse named uchishravas also emerged from the ocean which was taken by the demons by the demons the parijat <laughs> tree that always blossomed was taken to heaven by the gods oh, well, another tree which produces alcohol and wine named varuni was taken liquor. by the asuras <laughs> they got liquor then emerged goddess of wealth lakshmi who chose to marry lord vishnu also chandra the moon emerged from the which was adorned by shiva and finally dhanvantri the divine physician emerged holding a pot of nectar looking at the pot of elixir devas and asuras both began to fight vishnu's eagle garuda took the pot and flew away a few drops of nectar fell in prayagraj haridwar ujjain and nasik where the kumbh mela is celebrated every 12 years one of the asuras somehow got hold of the pot the gods were now tensed and towards lord vishnu for help lord vishnu disguised himself as a beautiful woman oh. named mohini and distracted the asuras and said that she would distribute the nectar equally between the gods and the demons Mohini started serving the gods with nectar first. There was a witty asura named Rahu who disguised himself as a deva and joined the line of the gods uh -oh. in order to receive the nectar. As soon as Rahu drank some nectar, the sun god Surya and the moon god Chandra noticed that Rahu was disguised as a god. Oh, they cut the condom. And immediately informed the same to Mohini. They caught him. Who quickly beheaded the asura with <gasps> Sudarshan Chakra before the nectar could the pass the asura's throat. But the asura had already consumed a few drops of the elixir which made his body cut into two parts, immortal. From that day onwards, the head of the asura was called Rahu and his body was called Ketu. By the time the rest of the asuras realized that the beautiful maiden Mohini was actually Lord Vishnu, the nectar had been distributed to the devas. The and rejuvenated devas were able to defeat the asuras it in was battle gone. and regain their glory. <laughs> One of the many things that emerged from the churning of the ocean of milk was a lethal poison known as hala hala. From, the poison was so yes. dreadful it could destroy the entire creation. Fearing uh -oh. this, the gods they approached to Lord Shiva to save the worlds from being destroyed. Lord Shiva decided to consume the poison. As soon as he drank the hala hala, his consort, Goddess Parvati, placed her hand on Lord Shiva's throat in order to prevent the poison from spreading in Shiva's body. Shiva's throat turned blue and from that day onwards, he was known as Nilakanta, the blue-throated one. Isn't that interesting? Look at Lord Shiva taking that poison in to, to not infect everybody else, and it turned this thing blue. This is what I want to know. Someone, because it, it mentioned the drops of poison, or was it the ne it, oh the nectar, the drops of the nectar around the world, and someone said there's like six places where it dropped, and I was like, I want to know the places. I wish it would tell us those. I was like, I go visit it. I want to go see the places where that, that nectar dropped. Look what it gave them. It gave them six-headed horses and <laughs> likes me. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty neat. That right there. I mean, I had never heard. This is all new to me. This That's why when we were talking about it yesterday, I was like, what? I need to know more of this. And I still feel like I needed more. That was seven minutes of it. I still, I'm like, where does this, the nectar drop would have... Lord Shiva and 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 the poisoners and then that immortal person that was the demon that pretended to be and now they're immortal and, and two bodies I need to know all of this <laughs> but that was a good start I enjoyed it well thank you thank you teachers for giving me this video and I hope y'all enjoyed it too and if there's any more suggestions about furthering this story I would I would like to hear them. Remember, I need either English sub. I know that's what's hard about finding these. I need at least English subtitles or, 
are something that are are English, you know, translations because I find stuff and then I'm like, I can't watch it. It's in a different language, but y'all help me. Y'all find the stuff. T just gave me this one. All right, y'all, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah.